You are welcome to another video of the course F5 Big IP DNS. In this section, we will explore the theoretical concept and hierarchical structure of DNSSEC protocol, which is used to secure domain name resolution process to ensure the authenticity of DNS responses. In other words, we can make sure of the source of DNS responses and also make sure that DNS responses are not changed on the way Therefore, we can protect against malicious activities like cache poisoning and spoofing attacks. By default, DNS protocol does not provide security. The lack of security means that DNS responses cannot be authenticated. In other words, we are not sure about the origin and whether the response is legitimate or fake. Therefore, without DNSSEC, users could be redirected to malicious websites, exposing them to various cyber threats such as cache poisoning and spoofing. DNSSEC secures DNS replies by attaching a digital signature. When a DNS resolver gets a DNS reply, it checks this signature against a trusted chain. If the signature is verified, it confirms the reply is exactly as sent by the original source with no alterations along the way. How does the digital signature work? In the digital signature process, each party has two keys, a private key to sign the data and a public key that the other party uses to verify the signature. The private key must be protected and secured, but the public key is sent to the other party for signature verification. Digital signature is generated using an encrypted hash of the data using sender's private key. The digital signature is verified by decrypting the digital signature using sender's public key and comparing with the hash of the data, if they are identical, the authenticity of the data is confirmed. When you enable DNSSEC, some new entries are added to the DNS zone in the DNS hierarchy. Resource record signature containing the signature of the records of the same type. DNS key record that stores the public key. Typically, there are two per zone, ZSK or zone signature key and KSK or key signature key. ZSK private key is used to sign DNS records and store them as resource record signature record. KSK private key is used to sign the ZSK public key to ensure that ZSK has not been compromised. ZSK signature result is stored in resource record signature for DNS key record. And the third record, DS record, in the parent zone contains a hash of DNS key from the child zone that contains KS key. When receiving and trusting KS key public key, from the parent zone, ZSK public key in the child zone is verified. The trusted ZSK public key is then used to verify DNS responses signature. Now is the time to learn how exactly DNSSEC works. The user requests the local DNS server to resolve the name www.raiko-co.com. The local DNS server traverse the DNS hierarchy to find the authoritative DNS server. We assume that DNSSEC is already implemented in the DNS hierarchy of the raika-co.com zone. Local DNS server requests an A record for the name www.raika-co.com from the authoritative DNS server. The authoritative DNS server sent a record and also its signature using resource record signature for the A record. Then the local DNS server send 
a DNS key record request to authenticate DNS server to verify the signature. The authoritative DNS server responds with DNS key record containing ZSK and KSK public keys and DNS key signature. The local DNS server then ask.com TLD DNS server for the DS record for raika-code.com. This is to make sure that raika-code.com ZSK public key is not compromised. Dot com server respond with DS record and corresponding RR signature DS record. The local DNS server requests the DNS key record from dot com server to verify the signature, the receiving signature. And dot com TLD DNS server respond with DNS key record and corresponding RR signature DNS key record. Then local DNS server repeat the process for the parent root DNS server. Local DNS server request the DS record of .com from root servers. The root servers return the DS record on and corresponding resource record signature for DS record which belongs to .com DNS server then local DNS server request for the root DNS key record root DNS server returns DNS key record and corresponding resource record signature for DNS key finally the local DNS server validate DNS key record and corresponding resource record signature for the DNS key with validating and trusting DNS hierarchy then local DNS server will authenticate the DNS reply from the authoritative DNS server to make sure that the origin of the DNS reply and also is not changed on the way.